Hi, this is Mike Jensen, and I want to tell you about my next session of Photoshop Layers for Photographers. We just finished up the last session of the workshop and was very successful. We had uh, enough people in there that we closed the class, and I know that some more of you wanted to take it. So I've opened up another session. It's on November 5th and 7th from 6 to 9 p.m. We'll be holding it over at the uh, cool computer lab that I found at Cleveland Chiropractic College. And I hope you can make it. It's only $129 for Camera Club members. And let me show you a little bit of the cool stuff we're going to get into when we, uh, when we get into this class. Okay, so here is a really cool uh, nine-image panorama I took of the skyline of Seattle. Uh, we took on a boat coming back from Bainbridge, Bainbridge Island. And what I want to do is add some fireworks to it. I just want to show you a little bit about how that's done and how easily it can be done. So I've got my panorama right here, and I think uh, probably over in this uh, right-hand quadrant, I'm going to add some fireworks. So what's the best way to do that? Well, first of all, you've got to have fireworks. I've got some here. I'm going to just take this from another Photoshop image and drag it right over to my pano. Okay, now it's a pretty big image. We're going to want to scale it down a little bit. And move it over obviously that's way too big for for the panorama and I'm gonna just drag it right over here but how do I get rid of that black background and uh, blend it into the uh, foreground uh, well the easiest way is, is uh, what Photoshop calls blending sliders so you just double click on the layer let me bring this over here and show it to you and all we have to do is take the top layer, which is the fireworks, and pull this slider over and watch the black part of the night go away. I'm just going to pull it a little bit more, and then I'm going to do a really nice, easy technique where I split this thing and just take a little bit more out. So now I've pretty much got all the darkness of that night's fireworks out. I'm going to move my fireworks over. I'm going to hit the transform tool by hitting command T and resize this so that it stays the same. And um, there we go. There's my fireworks. Of course, I've got some more. I'm going to grab these. And we're going to do the same technique. I'm just going to double click on this layer. Make sure you double click on it uh, out to the side and up comes the blending sliders. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see this really well. Oop, let me get let me get rid of that real quick. Okay, now I'll bring up my blending sliders. Here they are. And I just take these arrows right here and I slide them to the right and you can see the black part of the image going away I'm going to split it by holding down the option or alt key and that makes a little bit more of it go away then I just click OK I'm going to move over get my move tool and just situate that wherever I think it might work now, as you recall, I had a little bit of reflection in that from a previous image, so I'm just going to add a layer mask. I paint in a little bit of black because that makes it go away. And there we go. And there you have it. Uh, let me zoom in, show you how good it looks. Fireworks in Seattle, all done in Photoshop. Hope you can make the class. It's only $129 for Camera Club members, November 5th and 7th. I'll see you there. Thank you.